Welcome to another video. So, you would know Klein. It's super cool to use and everything. But, in recent times, you would have seen that Klein has started to slow down. I mean, not in terms of speed of using it, but in the sense that the new updates of Klein are not as fast as we'd like. Previously, there used to be some kind of update almost every day, and everything was rapid. But now, the updates have slowed down, which is fine. However, people who like using it are not as happy because they would like to see some new stuff as fast as possible, like adding the Gemini 2.0 Flash model, which took some time, along with multiple other things. But there's a new fork of Klein that is adding features left, right, and center almost every day, and that's RuKlein. I saw it on Open Router, where it is trending, because it is apparently being used a lot by users, and it's just below Klein in token usage, which is pretty cool. So, let me tell you everything about it. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all in one AI platform that gives you access to more than 10 models like Claude 3.5 Sonnet. GPT 4.0, Gemini, and even image generation models like Flux, and video generation models like Kling, and much more, all in one place, for a price that's even cheaper than one chat GPT membership, starting at only $11. Not just that, they have a bunch of AI tools that can help you use these models in intricate ways. They have also recently added an artifacts feature to their platform that now allows you to generate code, preview it, and share it with others using preview links, which is great. It can even run Python code and create charts. You can check them out through the link in the description, and make sure to use my coupon code KING25 to get an additional 25% off these already great deals. So, this is the RuKlein GitHub repo, and from what I could gather, it's a pretty simple fork of Klein that basically merges every good new pull request to it. There's also some other great stuff that the developer of this fork adds themselves. They say that it's a fork of Klein, an autonomous coding agent, tweaked for more speed and flexibility. It's been mainly writing itself recently, with a light touch of human guidance here and there. If we look at the major things that it has over the original Klein, then it's these things, like the ability to automatically approve commands, browsing, file writing, and MCP tools. This was also added to Klein recently, but this has existed here for a month now. It also has faster and more targeted edits via diffs. It also detects and fixes missing code chunks which is something that Klein doesn't do. It also has Klein rules, which has also been added to Klein recently. It also has the ability to drag and drop images into chats, which Klein doesn't have. It also has sound effects for feedback. And there's also an option to use a larger 1280 by 800 browser window. This means that if the browser use thing used to load some site in lower resolution, and it didn't work as expected. Now you can get that fixed by using a bigger resolution for that. You can also do quick prompt copying from history, and it also has open router compression support. This is a compression thing that Open Router has, which removes the unnecessary middle context from it and makes sure that everything fits in the model's context correctly. So, this is also great. It also has language selection for Klein's communication, like English, Japanese, Spanish, French, or even German. It also has support for every newer Gemini model, including 2.0 Flash and Thinking, as well as support for Nova and Llama 3.3 models via Bedrock if you use that. So, these are the major features that it has over the original Klein. Let me show you how you can use it and how it all works. So, 
you can just go to VS Code and in the marketplace, search for RuKlein and you'll see this. Just get it installed and then you'll see it in your sidebar. Now, this looks a lot like Klein because it is a fork of it. The first thing that you can see is that it supports drag and drop of images. So, you can just hit shift and then drag in any image and it will take that in, which is the first thing over the original Klein. Now, you can also see that it doesn't have the auto-approve stuff here. Well, that's because its auto-approve things are inside the settings, as it uses a different mechanism for it since this was applied before the original Klein. Anyway, here you can see that in the settings, you first of all have this checkbox if you use Open Router, which is the option to compress requests to fit into context. This is another thing that Klein doesn't have. If we select AWS Bedrock here, then you can also see that you have the other models option as well, like the Nova models and Llama as well. So that's also good. Now, if we scroll here, then you can see that you have the preferred language option here. Here you can select which language you want to chat in with Klein, like English, French, German, Japanese, or anything like that. Many people like to chat in different languages. So, this will be very helpful for people who always use Klein in a specific language and don't want to always mention it in a prompt. You can also see that you have another checkbox here, which allows you to enable the diff mode. This diff mode comes in handy when you are working on bigger files because it makes the model only produce the block of code that it needs to replace, along with the previous block that needs to be replaced, and then it can search and replace the stuff. Main Klein also has it now, but you cannot enable or disable it. It depends upon Klein itself, and it decides when it wants to use diff and when it doesn't. So. This is much more customizable, and you can also change the match precision of the search and replace as well, which will allow you to customize and get even more dynamic results. Now, after that, you have the option to auto-approve stuff here. Here, you can either enable only the auto-approve for read-only operations, or you can also auto-approve high-risk ones as well, like write operations and stuff like that. You also have some other stuff here. Like, this is the option to make your browser viewport bigger if you use the computer use thing with Klein. This is a bigger resolution than the default one in Klein and will generally yield better results because a bigger screen will allow your application to be rendered correctly and stuff like that. You can also enable sound effects as well. This will allow you to know when a task is done if you're doing something else. This was also added to Klein recently. So, there's that. Now let me just put everything in auto-approve, and let's also enable diff edits. Now let's go back, and here let's write a simple prompt to make a string reverse script in Rust. Now, if I send it, then you can see that it starts working on it. It first creates the new Rust project itself, and will now just need to wait, because it will do everything on its own. So, let's wait a bit, and it's now done. So, it did all the stuff easily, which is pretty great. So, you can also enable the bigger viewport and multiple other stuff as well. One more thing that it has is the option to copy the first prompt easily from your history which is also great. So, this is a good fork, and it always gets some good stuff before Klein, as it's almost updated regularly, which is great. You can try this out and get some good results. It's like a more developer-friendly Klein, which people who want more customization can use. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the join button. 
Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.